when i started this roland 100 percent completion achievement challenge on borderlands one i had no idea what i was in for i didn't know anything about the under domes in terms of like how complicated they were to complete the final three but i finally done it and i recorded everything but i'm just gonna give you guys the boss run of each of the final rounds because otherwise this is like this would be like an hour long video just showing like round 20 of each of them it took for each of the round 20s just that round by itself was around 20 to 30 minutes depending on you know what modifiers i ended up getting stuck with there was a couple of times where i ended up with the naked modifier which takes your shield away which i know as roland that's hilarious but it's not so hilarious when you're on round 20 and you have no shield and enemies roll with like the super speed modifier dude it can be brutal um so one thing that you learn as you get up in higher rounds is to play like you're doing like arms race in Borderlands 3, you take cover and you hide like a bitch and you shoot things from a long range. The biggest thing for me, and look at this, the, the loot at round 20 was all greens. I, I just, I couldn't believe it, but I was glad to be done with that one. So let's move on to what I did next, which was Cromrax. When I first did Cromrax, I, <laughs> I thought that this was gonna be one of those things where I'm like, all right, I'll just go abuse the ledge. So I went and I watched Jolt's dude's video on how to do the ledge thing. So like, you know, here I throw out my turret. I'm like, here, be distracted. And I go over here to the ledge and naturally this freaking worm follows me over there. But I get into the little, the little notch like Joel Stude says in his video. And then I pop up and I'm like, okay, now I can, you know, start wailing on this guy and everything's going to be easy peasy. Well, not, not so much because, um, he still decided that he would puke on me and this worm decided it was still going to teabag my face. The other problem with crawl for me is obviously you got to have good aim and, uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if you know that about me, but I just really don't have a very good aim. And this was, I think, about my fifth try uh, actually doing this one, but I just figured I'd show you guys one of the fails too. I also have aim assist on, which, you know, with controller, you do that a lot, but with Cromerax, that's kind of a problem because it'll constantly pull your sights in the wrong direction versus Cromerax, which is no bueno. All right, now we finally figured it all out. We get to the spot that we need to be in. Now it's time to shoot some spots and hopefully we kill him really quick. Look at that. That was a beautiful shot right there. It looked like I knew what I was doing. I didn't. It was just dumb luck. Probably we turned off aim assist because it was just hindering everything. Even with the uh, aim assist turned off and me trying to put the sights in the right spot. I'm still having trouble hitting this. Now it's down to one claw and his back spot. And here I am thinking while well, I'm missing all these shots because my aim is so God dang good thinking man this is gonna be fun to go get that back spot now that we're you know almost done i can't wait for the haters to say oh you had to abuse the the freaking ledge glitch motherfucker have you played roland guy's not fun <laughs> this guy got one tapped in the back by handsome jack bro there's nothing fun about the cromerax fight i don't care who you are don't lie to yourself don't don't fucking lie to yourself there's nothing fun about this fight other than killing him and that was super satisfying. And then we got a bunch of uh, legendaries because Borderlands players hate legendaries. They give me a bunch and they all sucked. So yeah, there you go. There's the Cromrax fight done. No pearls. Don't be fooled by these blues. They just have like a weird glow on the ground because it's Borderlands 1. All right, now on to the final round of Helberbia. For whatever reason, this particular map gave me fits which is weird because there's plenty of places to, like use cover and hide and stuff but i just had like some really bad luck plus i was watching the uh the ncaa men's and women's college basketball tournaments and every once in a while i would get distracted now when it came down to like rounds 18 19 and 20 i usually would uh mute the basketball game and just try to focus on these guys but even then, man, shit can go south on you quick. Uh, as you see here, I just decided to like bum rush the guy. That could have ended badly. That could have ended so badly. I was down to almost no health there at the end, but we got the kill and uh, yeah, that's Elberbia. Let's move on. Look at the loot, baby. Two greens and a white. <laughs> Terra Morphus was here. All right, now for the final one. I was doing so well. I'm on wave 20. I'm like down here. I'm taking like long range approach. I'm sniping guys with my amazing accuracy as you can see once again and i'm like all right this is the way to go right here i'll just snipe these guys keep range this way you know i don't have anything to worry about and then all of a sudden out of freaking left field these guys spawn in right beside me so then i had to drop in down here and this isn't like a really safe place but i did it anyhow and we get the kills down here 
and then uh, I work my way back across the map and then I go back up top and this is where everything goes sideways I'm back up top now after going through the portal I chuck some grenades out there to get some uh some health some life steal and I go to pop this guy this is where I made my my biggest mistake I didn't wait to heal out of nowhere boom I get blasted <laughs> and that's the end of that round and then it was time for the final final boss round of the final round yeah man listen i i try to keep distance on these boss rounds and snipe it's really weird they have they've given the, the enemies like a five second immune phase when they come out of the doors so you can't stand down there and just wail on them as they come out the doors i guess that was a problem with the original like patch of the game or something that people would stand down there somebody told me that uh, that was like the trick was to just like kill the guy as soon as he comes out the door kind of thing you can't do that now <laughs> you cannot do that now so i just try to utilize cover as much as possible i spam my orion until i can't down to 400 health there noticed that it was getting a little hairy so i decided i'm gonna go hellfire and try and get some health here my transfusion was a little slow on that a little scary when that transfusion comes in slow and then i'm like all right i'll bum rush him and that just leaves one enemy and voila that's it let's fucking go it's over i'm about to add up like the total amount of time that that took to do all of those i don't know if they make the last one harder like if you beat two of them and then you're down to the third i don't know if they make it harder or not but damned if i didn't die even more than usual 80 out of 80 and as you can see there's the gully 2.4 percent of players have beat that uh big tournament that's all of the larger challenge coliseums then Helberbia and now angelic ruins man thank god this is over <laughs> thanks for watching guys hit the like button i'll see you next time take care